Yeah, I certainly like the effort tonight. I thought uh, the guys came up with uh, probably a more complete effort, and that's good. It's nice to do it at home, and, and uh, hopefully we can create some momentum for uh, subsequent games here next weekend. With just um, two wins at home last year, how important is it to kind of establish um, winning in the song this season? Yeah, we're not talking about last year anymore, but it's... Uh, yeah, it's a new season, and uh, as far as we're concerned, it's game three, and you know, the first one was a uh, nice comeback. The second one, I didn't think we brought our best, and uh, yeah, today was better. Given the strength of the schedule this year, it's pretty unrelenting. Would you say that it would have uh, been a little bit more advantageous for you guys to start with UFD over, say, Colgate next weekend? Or is he not ready to think about yeah, you take teams when you can get them. Believe it or not, uh, after these guys won the national championship, we paid them a visit their first two games of the season. And uh, they were supposed to return the COVID year when the season got you know, canceled. So it's been that long. So we've been waiting. So you take them whenever they can make it. And this was, uh, this was a time. So I don't really know if I uh, necessarily uh, care who who we play. We want to play the best opponents possible because we want to find out and, and build our team also. And having good opponents like this is great for our fans. And uh, it's a great sign for who's good throughout the country. A barometer for the league, if you will. What are your takeaways after the first two games of the season? Um, I'll give it three games because uh, we did have the, the exhibition. Uh, I think there's a resilient group in there. I think they showed some character tonight, uh, coming back after a lackluster uh, effort. La last night we outchanced them by six and we outshot them by ten, but nobody really cares about that. It's just we had our chances. We just didn't execute. But there wasn't. Uh, there was several opportunities to make better plays with the puck. The puck management was poor, and I thought we improved that tonight. So obviously they showed an ability to improve on the previous night and. That's what I can say so far. How important is it getting the freshman involved? Or basically the same question I asked you last night. Freshman really coming up big again this evening. How, how big a deal is this to have this much room from that group? Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> it's always important to get contributions from, from all the classes. But we've got several freshmen who are very capable. And I think you'll hear more about them as, as uh, the, we play here. And I'm playing all the key situations. They're playing power play, they're playing penalty kill, uh, apart from the five on five. So the days of saving freshmen for, uh, you know, when they get older and they're over. It's, uh, you know, it's a new age. So the most talented kids are on the power play. And you saw tonight, they, uh, I thought they did a good job. Yeah, anytime you get wins, you should be happy. College hockey is brutal. And our, our league, Hockey East, is one of the best conferences for a reason. There's these types of teams every night. So, you know, you keep building your team. You keep uh, adding to your identity. And uh, I thought it was a good step in the right direction, the fact that you can come back and show character and, and play a more complete game the second night. And there's first performance yourself. Yeah, yeah, no question. I thought it was a good game. And I'll have to watch a film to see how much he got tested, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes those games are tough. When you don't face a shot for six minutes at a time, and then you get barraged with two or three, it's tough, right? What in particular are you going to be looking for when you review the team? Well, same things we look for all the time, just tendencies and what we can improve. Um, yeah, there's plenty of stuff that's incomplete. You know, it's the start of the year. Last night, uh, the puck management, the turnovers for goals against, we gave him three out of four goals. And uh, we weren't very happy with that, but I'll be honest with you, I've been coaching for a long time, and turnovers happen a lot the first couple weeks, you know, and you just hope they don't happen in January, February. When you look at the power play, I noticed the chances were there yesterday. Um, anything different about the power play as opposed to how it looked compared to yesterday with today? Yeah, 
I'll have to watch the film, but I thought they, they found seams, there's better movement. Um, yeah, it's uh, power play is probably very good when you can keep, uh, let the puck do the work and you can find different uh, seams. And I thought they found quite a few seams tonight. I don't know how many power play goals there were, but there had to have been a couple, right? Two, yeah. Two, yeah. Two. And the five minute major, to be honest with you, I thought there was a couple looks that were excellent. They just the goalie came up big. Yeah, the, the other team uh, has desperation. Um, we tried to be as workmanlike as possible and, uh, and win the period. And uh, we might come up just a little short, but I thought it was a pretty good effort overall. Yeah, we don't talk about sitting back because that's when you get scored on. We talk about winning the period. And, uh, you know, we had a few looks, but they snuck one in. And, and thankfully for us, at that time, it was uh, out of reach. Pleased with the way your team played with the lead? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good start. Yeah. Because I played four lines the whole night. Right. And uh, giving everybody a chance to do the right thing is important. And, uh, you know, I'll have to watch the film, but not too many guys let me down. Yeah. Limited them to under 10 shots in every period. It seems like their kind of zone entry really kept them. You guys were able to keep them outside and really struggled entering the zone. What was kind of the, the message to the team going into this game off of last night that, that Mike and need to focus on this? Yeah, we felt we could pressure the puck a little bit more and the pressure from the inside out. You know, some nights. Uh, <clears throat> It works that way, and I thought we did a pretty good job for a, for a while there. They had six or nine shots, were, you know, well through the third three quarter point of the game, right? So whenever you're able to keep a, a, a very talented team, you know, off the board that way, you stand a good chance. All right, thanks, guys.